Join us for the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast, where we discuss matters close to the heart. This and every Saturday at 8 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. I am your host, Dr. Lincoln Bryan, alongside your co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson, Bishop Hopeton Morris, and Elder Edmund Muir. The Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. We're not just talk, we're informative. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast right here on HGG Radio. Of course, we're live inside your home, inside the car, inside your studio, and I'm so delighted that you choose to join us this morning. Thank you for waking up, waking up with us this morning on the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. Of course, we have another exciting episode for you, another one that we can discuss very thought-provoking. Last week, we had such a time uh, discussing the uh, prior, the power of prayer and we went in some dips last week really really powerful time and of course we have yet another exciting one that we're looking forward to you uh, to talk with you about we're talking about the prior watches this morning. Yes, the prior watches, another depth of prayer um, that we want to discuss. Of course, I am your host, Dr. Lincoln Bryan. Uh, this morning, we only have one co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson, that will be with me um, this morning. We do want to apologize for Bishop Upton Mars on the first Saturday. He has a prayer and fasting at his church, so he's unable to join on the first Saturday. And of course, again, uh, we want to apologize to Elder, Elder Edmund Muir. But I know that he's listening. Lots of things to take care of. So good morning, Elder Muir. Good morning, uh, Bishop Upton Mars. And of course, we just want to remind you that you can listen to HGG Radio via YouTube, Facebook, hggradio.ca, or by downloading our Higher Ground Gospel Radio app via your Play Store or App Store. You can join the conversation on our social media platform or by messaging us or sending your voice notes on WhatsApp at 825-343-7778. Again, you can send us voice notes via WhatsApp or send us a message at 825-343-7778. Remember, if you have not yet already subscribed to our channel, we're inviting you to please go on over HGG Radio, HEG, uh, Higher Ground Ministry, Higher Ground Radio, yeah, and subscribe there on our channel. Remember to also share, like with your friends, share with your friend, like the page, subscribe, send it to your friends and family with this level of conversation, with this level of information uh, that we are giving every Saturday morning. We don't want you to keep it to yourself. Please share it with your friends. Please share it with your family. And we, you can also listen or watch together. Uh, good morning, Pastor Clive. Welcome to the show, sir. How are you today? Clive there. Good morning. Yeah, awesome. All right, so you'll tune in just in a little while. Of course, we want to say good morning to all of those who are joining us this morning uh, from near and far. Those who are already online, we say good morning to you. Good morning, uh, Fiona Lewis, uh, my church sister. Good morning to you there. Uh, good morning, Miss Jacqueline Brown. Uh, she said, praise Jesus Christ, wonderful host, um, this wonderful podcast and blessings um, to you as always. So we say good morning to you, Jacqueline Brown. Mahela Emmings, my aunt, good morning. Uh, to you, Aunt. Good morning, Pastor Clive. How are you this morning? Let's hear your voice. How are you? There you go. I am doing wonderful, highly blessed, and highly favored and flavored by the Lord. <laughs> so I am doing, <laughs> I am doing good. I wow. said good morning to my aunt down there in um, Jamaica. Yeah, good morning, Aunt. Pa uh, she's joining us this morning. Uh, she said, Good morning, everyone. And we say, Good morning to you. It's another day to be alive and ardent listen on the show. And I really, really do appreciate you, Aunt, for listening tuning in every Saturday morning. Good morning to you. Michelle uh, said, Good morning. Sandra Mitchell is joining us from Brooklyn, from out of Brooklyn, New York. And she said, Good morning, Tamara Mitchell. Good morning to you also. Um, uh, let me see, Sonia Irish. God bless you, Lady Irish. And please, we are praying um, for you and for your husband. Uh, Lady Irish, of course, is one of the presenters on a Monday night in the prior and higher in prayer. 
uh, one of the intercessors there. And um, we are praying and believing the Lord for your husband is currently in the hospital. And so to our listeners, those when you pray, please remember Brother Irish. That's Lady Sonia Irish husband in the hospital. Please remember him as you pray, as we believe the Lord for a miracle. Yes, miracle do happen. Good morning to you as well. Ah, my good friend there, uh, Angel Assistance, a senior. Uh, I know you're joining in from uh, Rochester, New York. Good morning to you. Uh, Keela McIntosh, good morning. Uh, my friend, my brother, uh, Reverend Ray McHugh, say good morning. And we say thank you to all our early joiners who are joining us on the program. We say thank you and welcome. Pastor Clive, how are you doing this morning? How is it going? Talk to us. Everything is going well, man. Everything is going good. Everything is going good. So you and I, you and I swinging this morning. So um, Elder Muir is out, uh, Bishop. And I so know. you and I, they, they said, you know, let, let, the, let the two rock it out this morning. So I guess we, we, are, um, we are working this morning, but we have a lot of information to give. And of course, the show must go on. We won't be by ourselves. Of course, we have yet uh, a special guest joining us yet another time. What a time we had last week. Bishop, so many comments, so much people have reached out to me to talk to us about last week and the show that is going on. And it's so funny because there are times that you think people are not um, listening, are not watching. And yesterday, as yesterday, I went to a funeral for one of my church sister and I was encouraged um, while we were at the funeral because so much time you think you're doing and you're not doing um, for people to, 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 to uh, see or to give you credit per se. But I was quite surprised when and someone reach out to me, someone I never even thought, you know, even see me or see what's, what's going on or what are we're doing. And the person said, sir, I see you. I see what you're doing. And I really want to commend you on the work that you're doing. And I'm asking that you keep the work going. So, so many people are being blessed and not everybody's commenting on saying something, but there's a lot of people who are being blessed. Um, each Saturday morning, and they are blessed by what is happening. And so we want to say um, to the listeners, sometimes you don't think people see what you're doing, but keep shining your light. Yeah, keep shining your light because others are watching more than you even think. Others are watching you. So again, we want to thank you all who are joining. That makes the program what it is. All right, we're going to set it up and we're going to jump right into the program. Of course, we're talking about prior this morning and we're going to be talking about the prior watches. All right. So prior is, a, is, prior is the spiritual hunger and thirst that leads to a heart to heart connection with the living God. The power of prayer comes from the omnipotent one who hears us when we pray. Yes, that's prayer who hear our heart prayer and answer them. Prayer places us in contact with the almighty God and we should expect almighty results. Whether or not he chooses to grant our petition or deny our request, whatever the answers to our prayer, the God of whom we pray is a source of all power of prayer. And he can and will answer us according to his perfect will and his perfect timing. When we pray, as we always say, that prayer beats everything but nothing beats prior continue to pray joining us is an intercessor intercessor a pastor a prophet a man of god uh, my big brother my friend out of florida uh, from prior of faith international ministries uh, yeah. apostolic church uh, over there in florida my friend, my brother, a preacher, a man of God, I'm telling you, I honor God for him and thank him for joining us to the show. And my empowerment podcast, welcome, Pastor Kenyatta McLeish. Bless you. God bless yes. you, Lincoln, Brian, and Pastor Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're excited to have you. We're excited to have you, sir. How are you? I am doing good. Thanks be to God. I'm all right. You know, just just pull a breeze. Awesome, awesome. I was over there in your in your side of things, church, family wise, everything going good. Florida is beautiful at this time. No snow. Um, <laughs> is there ever? <laughs> no. <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, I love it here. Um, awesome. 
Awesome. We're grateful that you're joining us yet again, Pastor. We have um so much folks last week who have really been telling us about the program and um have tell us so much um that they have learned. They're persons who run who is running with um that we don't pray from the ground up, we pray from the heavens to the ground. I'm telling you. Right. I copy wrote uh, that. You copy. Yes. 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 And that's all right. That's all right. It's but folks copyright. love it and they're running, nothing, they're running with it. It's prior. It's new information. Nothing be prior, prior beat everything. Yeah, it's new information. Right. And 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 that's all right. That's all right. It's copyright. We're still gonna use it. Um we're talking about Jesus, we're talking about prior. I'm, I'm sure you're not going to sue us for for the infringement. So <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, so we wanna we wanna go into it this morning. We wanna talk um about the prior watches and those who have um who have followed me a few uh, about two years ago or so, I did a series of, for about three weeks for Bethel organization on the prior watches. We talk about the prior watches um, that happen, uh, the different times of the night, etc. I'm going to let you um, open us, sir, and we'll just briefly talk on prior and then we'll go into the watches and the importance of the watches, etc. So, Pastor uh, Kenyatta, come on in, uh, Prophet, and just start with us, your opening statement um, quickly on um, give us about prior and, and the different and the prior watches so talk to us um prayer as i stated last week it is a navigational system um it helps us to navigate through the earth realm and it connects us to um the the presence of god so that the presence of god can now empower us to produce on earth what we have prayed out in the spirit or what we have sensed in the spirit um when it comes to the what um not saying that we must pray um at a particular time but there are certain uh times in the realm of the spirit that is set for us to pray specific prior and you will receive certain result because of the time frame that we pray mm -hmm. like for instance if we pray at 12 o'clock from the hours of 9 to 12 yeah those are the times at times that you will begin to feel the empowerment and to limit the activities of the enemy which i think we'll get into a little bit more go um, into it sir let's let's go into it briefly run through the prior watches and um, then we'll go into it don't let me stop there you. are eight watches right there's eight watches um so it's a circle that we follow so there's eight watches um you have the watches in the mornings and you have the watches in the evening the evening watch for me is the most imperative watches in the evening because at that particular time is when man normally goes to sleep and the kingdom of darkness is more prevalent and active in the night season so the 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 first watch of the evening watch um the night watch it begins um for those that truly follow it it is from three to six i believe right three to six and then you have six to nine nine to twelve um twelve to three and then you will have three to six in the morning so it is important that we we understand the watch is not saying that if you pray outside of these watches concerning particular issues that God is not going to respond. But in these particular watches, the night watches, one particular watch comes, is, is, is the watching hour uh, or the witching hour where witches begin to release their, their enchantment or their curses. So when we get up at this particular watch to begin to pray, we now hinder, disallow, overrule, overthrow their progress. So when we're building in this watch, it is important that we also establish altars. Um, you can chime in because I'll keep going on. You mm -hmm. you can build. No, up keep going. Altars. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you build altars, um, and altars contends against the evil altars of the enemy so when we say we are going to pray at uh nine um 9 p.m to 
12 a.m., 9 p.m. to 12 a.m., you build an altar. Now, this watch is where intercessors, true intercessors rise up and they begin to storm heaven. Why are they storming heaven? Because they're desiring that the kingdom of heaven now begin to rule from the place where they are. So we're bringing heaven down to contend against the activities that the enemy has now orchestrated um, to, to destroy, to hinder, to capture, to disallow you, to frustrate you, to cause you to become discombobulated and, and, and so forth. Um, so it's important that we understand watches, times of prayer, different kinds of prayer and things of that nature. I'm going to pull back. You can go forward. As uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, Pastor Clive, uh, I love to hear your voice on, you know, the importance of, of, of the watches, because as, as Pastor would have mentioned, there are times when persons don't understand that um, we, and, and I'll chime in and then I'll, I'll let you come, because the Lord have a set time. Uh, when I say Lord, as I say time, there are time when you are getting up. And if you find that you are waking up in the morning at two o'clock and every time you're getting up two o'clock, you can't sleep from two until four o'clock before you fall back to sleep. You yeah. can't fall asleep um, that time. Every morning you're getting up at a particular time. That time is your watch. That is a time when the Lord wants you to get up and the Lord wants you to pray. That is the time for your watch because there are activities that are taking place that the Lord need you on at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So that's how important the watches are. Bishop made mention last week, and I think someone misunderstood when he said, good morning to you, Lady Faulkner from Jamaica. It's good. It's good to have you, Lady P. Heaven bless you. Um, is that he, Bishop mentioned that he said to the person, meet me at midnight and let us pray concerning this prison situation. There right. are certain activity that happen at a particular time. And we have seen it from scripture that jailbreak happened at midnight. And so yeah. in particular, he said, let us pray at that time at midnight. Why? Because we are praying about a jailbreak situation and we need the Lord to break somebody out of prison. And so it is not saying that the Lord will not answer you within a particular time, but it, it is just saying that at that time, we know the activity that happened. There are a certain time of the night when witches, and we're going to dive into it and give you the times, when witches come and try to cast um, spell, you know, on your family, cast spell on your home, on your children, on your finances. And this is the time in particular where children of the Lord, we got to get up and we have to pray. Pastor, talk to me about a type of watch. And have you experienced that where the Lord would have you get up at a particular time and it's like you can't sleep. That is the time when you pray. Uh, talk to me, Pastor Clive, about the watch or your particular watch. Thank you so much. Um, it is, it is, it is. God bless you, uh, Rev. Um, it is important that we understand our watch. Um, and as you would have referred, that sometimes your watch would consist of the time that the Lord would wake you up and for you to pray. Um, and I know that sometimes, you know, person don't want to wake up in the 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. But if we, if we really think about it, every year we 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 we, we would... In January, we would say, hey, we are going on a, a, a month of prayer and fasting and 24-hour prayer watch. It should not just be a month, with, um, a month, but it should be a, a lifestyle where the lifestyle become where, you know, it's, it's something that you, you, you get into a habit. Uh, my habit of prayer is every every watch, even if I do not physically kneel down uh, and, and, and pray. Um, but I could be driving at nine o'clock in the morning. Then I start to, you know, pray and intercede. That's my watch. Um, 12 o'clock, doesn't matter what I'm doing. In the middle of the day, that's a watch for me. I don't book any appointments. I don't do anything at work. Um, I need that. It, and it doesn't take you three hours. It takes you consistency. Um, Remember the Bible says that 
um, uh, uh, at a certain time, Adam in the in the garden, God will come down and commune yes. with Adam in the garden. So your 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 your, your watch could be where for me, as I said, I I try to make it consistent every twelve three six, and I'm gonna give you something that happened to us at church in uh, I think it was in October, uh, 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 October no. Yeah, in October. And every three, six time, all throughout the watch. So when we have in prayer, when we have in Bible study at church, I said to the brethren, I said, we need to be there before six so we can, or, you know, six, so we can pray within that watch. So we went to church and we're praying. And while we're there praying, um, you know, I had an outer body experience. I cannot tell you. What happened? But let me just, I'm going to try to explain it in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a brief. But while I was there praying, I fell into a trance. The Lord took me out of the body, bring me into a corridor door. When he bring me through a, in a corridor door, the, 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 the hallway was like six to, to six to eight feet wide. There was no window. There was no door. There was nothing. I mean, we're just praying. And there was no window door. But he took my upper torso and, and 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 put me through the wall. And when I went through the wall, there was a council that was going on behind the behind these walls. And when I when I when I was in the room, now remember, I'm like a bug. On the wall, nobody knows that I showed up, but I was just there, and 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 a gentleman, not a gentleman, there's a bean, <clears throat> sit down on the, my left side, dressed in black and uh, and red, like a black and red robe, giving instruction, and what? So he's the first person I saw, the first bean I saw, um, and then while he was there talking. I'm listening to him, and then he was giving instruction to my very left. There is, there is a, 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 a man. A, there was so many um, a, a beans. These beans again, the fallen angels. They were sitting in us in, 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 in such a uh, uh, in such a silence where they're listening to what he was giving out all the instruction. I'm talking about in in a, in a prayer watch from six in the evening. This is. Eh? going over into the into the next watch and i'm like oh my god so but while i was in that time of prayer and this is happening to me then i asked a question i'm like you know then they started to give out instructions saying i need 270 um divorce they were there planning the thing mm -hmm. and they were there sitting down in silence not saying nothing elder this thing is like real this is this is real. This is not. So when I came out of it, what I, what I get from it, and there's more to it, is that at those times, we were there and we started to break down things that are happening in the spiritual realm that we need to tear down. That while they're in their councils and the council say, hey, at this watch, this is what we want. At this time, this is what we want. So it is important as brothers and sisters, believers, that we understand that Satan kingdom is divided. Because one of the time he, the, the, the bean was saying to them that, he, he, like he was saying, listen to me, I went to Mr. Brown. And Mr. Brown, he's not bulging. Yeah, well, take such and such with you. I'm talking about this is not sleeping. I'm awake. Why right. Is so what am I saying? I'm saying is that we need to understand these watches. And can you imagine what's happening at the, the 9 o'clock watch and the 12 o'clock watch, midnight watch? Huh? So as believers, while we are sleeping or while we are having coffee and tea, the devil is putting some strategy out there how to deceive, how to uh, manipulate the minds of God's people and we need to be aware of what's happening. And this is why the watches are so important. And we need to um, 
um, our, our churches need to need to come up with a system and not just a monthly thing to say, look here. Oh, it's just in January we need this. No, you need it January, February, March. You need it from January to December to know that Satan don't rest. He is working over time and it is important for us to pray and get the believers knowing that it is important for them to intercede. That's where I would stop my open remarks. Amen. Uh, thank you, Rev. <clears throat> so he, you're speaking about an outer body experience in which you have experienced and uh, is able to hear um, the plans of hell. These plots that 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 the spirit that is happening in the realm of the spirit concerning marriages. Uh, thank yeah, you so much, Rev. Marriages, you know, Rev. There was more yes. things that was going on. I just didn't want to take up a lot of time. Right, right, I, right. Some of the things that I heard, like one of the one of the things that was really struck me was when he says that. Um, um, don't let Iagro move from this location. Yes. Rev, you, you, you would have came to Canada and you would have walked down to the building where we where right. we where we wanted to purchase and you lay hands. I would believe in God. And the people, they, you know, they said, well, the building is yours. We believe God for it. And the, the, and, and I heard in, the, in there, he said, whatever you do, don't let them move into this area because this is where we rule. This is our domain. And if they come here, I'm telling you, I'm in this thing and I'm mm. like, this, I'm like, what's really going on here? I'm listening and I'm hearing it. And, 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 and so I asked the question, he says, why higher ground? That's the first time I said anything. And the demon turned to me and says, because you will take out one or two or three out of this community and this is our community. This is where we rule it. My God. And, mm -hmm. and then I asked, what about the other churches then? They say, listen what he says. Those churches has no power. Oh my God. There's so much to talk about in that one little vision that I had. And and, and and I'm telling you, I was not sleeping. This is me being wide awake while 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 all of this was going on, Rev. And when I came out of it and I started telling Bridget, hey, this is what just happened. And it happened so fast. I thought I was there for like three hours. Not realized it's not even not even a minute, not even 30 seconds. It was like literally like under 10 seconds. And all of this was going on so fast in the spirit realm. And I want to let you know that the enemy is setting up a contract on your life and he wants to pull you down. The marriages that they were there talking about, Rev, you're saying that we need to get so many marriages this, like, the, the time, I don't know, the timing that they were they were talking about the marriage, they said they wanted so many marriages. And that's why we have to pray when you see people are going through things. Because the enemy have a contract on marriages. He has a contract. Anything that pertains to God, he has, yes. a, he, has a, he, has a, he has a contract on it. And he wants to destroy marriages. And he wants to make sure that, you know, you, you don't stay faithful to your wife. Don't fa stay faithful to your husband. He wants to destroy the church. And we need to understand that. And also we need to understand this, is that Satan don't see you as an apostolic. Nope. Let me say it again. He do not see you as an apostolic. He doesn't see you as a UPC, as a Pentecostal. He doesn't see you as a church of God in Christ Jesus. He don't, what he see you as? He see you as a believer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a threat, and a threat to his kingdom. Akato, Siba, hallelujah to God. I, I know we're on a, a, a podcast, but I feel the Holy Ghost right there. He doesn't see you as uh, 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 whatever denomination. He sees you as a believer of Jesus Christ. And the moment that you say yes to Jesus Christ, he see you and he sees you as a threat. And because you're a threat to his kingdom, he doesn't care if you go over here or you go over here. He wants you in his kingdom and he wants you to backslide. He wants you to not live a hundred percent. He want to keep you from praying. He wants your marriage to and your home to be this, this, to, to disrupt everything. He doesn't care about that. He everything. doesn't care. Go ahead, Rev. Go ahead. I could go on right there because I'm telling Amen. you, it was, it was, it was just <laughs> no a, a, a time I had that time. I'm telling you, go ahead. 
Thank you so much, Rev. Um, Pastor Ken, I'm going to jump in with you and I want to kickstart um, the prior watches. I know there's eight watches to go through and in one shot, we're going to try. Let us start on the first watch, sir. Talk to me about the first watch of the night and the different activities that are happening at this particular watch. Can we go for a break before we get to the first watch, Rev? Sure. I'm sorry. Yes. I, I just realized I'm just passing my cue. So sorry. Yes. Take a break and we'll be back. Thank you so much for staying with us. We'll take a break and we'll be back with you shortly. Calling all believers. Are you continuing steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine? Join us right here on HGG Radio, Mondays to Fridays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. EST for a new and exciting Bible discussion program, The Apostles' Doctrine. Come and hear the word being rightly divided by dynamic preachers and teachers. It's The Apostles' Doctrine, hosted by Minister Tyrone Reed, weekdays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST. Come for the fellowship. Stay for Cerebral conversations and all things scriptural. A revolution is coming to the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Get ready for the pulsating, electrifying, inspiring, and motivating two hours of music, word, health, and wealth. Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Right here on HGG Radio. Join me, your host, Rashane Douglas, the Christ in me, the hope of glory. That's the new time for the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Right here on HGG Radio. Visit our website, hggradio.ca, or download the HGG Radio mobile app. See you soon. Edmonton, get ready for Come Worship the King on April 6, 2024. Hosted by MR Productions. Come and experience the ultimate night of praise and worship featuring Petra K from Jamaica. Oh, I cross over. Michael Reed, oh, Chanel Edwards, Glenn Barnes, and Pastor Alric O'Connor. Special appearances from Chosen Generation. And we are his. MC Crystal Reed at the Citadel International Church, 9253 48th Street, Edmonton. Gates open at 5.30 p.m. Showtime, 6 p.m. Adults pre-sold $35. $40 at the door. Kids, $15 at the door. Get your tickets at eventbrite.ca or Calls 780-284-3450. That's Come Worship the King at Edmonton. You there? My soul start to are you ready to amplify your message and reach hearts with purpose? Introducing HGG Advertising, your partner in spreading the gospel and connecting with the Christian community. Churches, Christian-based businesses, listen up. With HGG Advertising, you can reach your audience through powerful radio campaigns. Engage hearts, inspire minds, and grow your community with HGG Radio, which is already reaching 136 countries worldwide. We specialize in promoting Christian values and helping businesses aligned with faith-based principles. Whether it's a church event or your business rooted in Christian values, HGG Advertising is here for you. Connect with us and let's share your message with purpose. HGG Advertising, spreading the gospel, connecting communities. Email us today at ads at hggradio.ca. That's ads at hggradio.ca. Or call us today at 825-343-4486. Thank you so much for staying with us. Welcome back as we are discussing the prior watches. We have joining was joining us is Pastor Kenyatta Makish out of Florida. And of course, we are talking about the prior watches. We're just about to dive into the first watch of the night. Uh, Pastor, talk to us about the first watch of the night and the activity that are taking place in the realm of the spirit. Uh, uh, so Pastor Kenyatta, go right ahead, sir. The first watch of the night. All right, blessings. Um, just a sidebar. I want to make mention that um, every watch, every watch, it has a specific 
purpose for it. Um, as stated, there are eight watches and it covers the 24 hour span. I prefer the night watch. Um, I believe uh, that one for me, I uh, caused me to be more alert. It takes care of what is going to happen in the next day. So the first watch of the night, it begins at 6 p.m. through to 9 p.m. That's the first watch. Um, this is basically a time of reflection where you gather your thoughts, you gather yourself together um, to go before the Lord. Um, now, according to scripture, Jesus used this particular watch, this evening watch, to go aside and pray. Now, we have to understand that 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., that is like a time of preparation also. Um, now, this is where you decompress from your, your busyness of your day. Um, so you're getting yourself together <clears throat> mentally, emotionally, and spiritually to enter into deep intercession. All right. So every watch that we are uh, embark on, there is a specific purpose for each and every one of them. At uh, this particular watch also is a time uh, to meditate on the word. Now, as intercessors, we cannot pray without knowing the word of the Lord. God do not move outside of the confines of his word. He move within his word. He answers within his word. Mm -hmm. So when we begin to meditate upon his word, amen, in this particular watch of uh, a time of reflection, when you begin to meditate, it, it causes your emotion to become still or bring it into alignment with what the word of the Lord is saying. So now we don't pray our emotion. We pray the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yes. we, don't pray, um, ex we, don't, we don't pray what we have been going through. Now you begin to pray the answer. Like for instance, uh, I'd like to give examples. So in this particular time, when you're meditating on it, on the word of the Lord. You you probably had a rough day um, at work, right? Or you went through some situation. You got to miss that. You got a diagnosis from the doctor throughout the course of the day or whatever. Now, at this time, when you begin to read the word and meditate upon the word, you don't bring the problem to the Lord. He already knows. You bring what the word says concerning your situation. So, now, God, they told me that I am diagnosed with a particular sickness, but your word tell me that by your stripes, I am healed. This mm -hmm. is what they're saying, but your word says it. So now you tie God to his word, mm -hmm. and now you begin to interrupt whatever plan the enemy has plotted against you. You begin to interrupt it. Why? Because you are sitting in a place, the posture of prayer, in the mode of prayer, in the time of prayer, in the watch of prayer, sitting in in God for God to move through you while you are sitting in him. So mm -hmm. your emotion in this, in, in this place has no power. This is where your mind become aligned with what God says. Your mind, your emotion, and your spirit man must come in divine alignment. alignment. In divine alignment. Also, this particular place, it frees our will to do the will of God. So it releases you from any um, limitations or any fear, any anxiety that will cause you not to want to respond to what God is saying. So it gives you liberty to walk in the freedom of God, in the authority of God, in prayer. This is where we can stand and declare, Satan, I know that you're coming at me, but the Bible says that you may come one way, but you will flee several ways from me. Why? Because That's right. I am standing on the word of the Lord. And if I'm standing on the word of the Lord, therefore, I am more than a conqueror through yes. Christ strengthens me. So 
it, we, we have to allow the spirit of the Lord in this realm that we're in, in this first watch, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., to gather us, to collect us, to settle us, to establish us. Amen. Um, this also is a place where God give you direction, clear direction of how to operate through the course of the other watches or the course of the night. He give you instructions and directions concerning your life, whether it's a five-year plan, a two-year plan, or day-to-day uh, -day, Daily, he loatheth me with benefits. If we are not praying, we won't know what the mind of God is for us. We won't know what the plan of God is for us. We won't know what the intention of God is for us. Amen, mm -hmm. somebody. Amen. So in order for us to know his will, even though we have the logos, the doctor is on, he will correct it. The bishop is on, they can correct it. The logos, which is the written word. You also need to be able to hear the rhema. Amen. The audible word of God when he speak. And it is through prior that we're able to hear his audible word being spoken to us so if we yes. don't settle ourselves if we are not aligned My emotionally God. mentally and spiritually if we are not aligned with what god is saying and how god desired to move in our life we will begin to pray amiss our prayers will be missing the target are you hearing it our prayers will be earthbound are you here? It will be what? Earthbound. So ah. you're praying in a watch, amen, concerning God to release financial blessing. But that's not the angel that is, hallelujah, release for that time. This is the time that God says, I am going to settle you. I'm going to ground you so that you understand when the prophetic word is released over your life, what to do with it, how to move in this dimension when I speak to you. We praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm feeling Amen. the spirit of God rising on me. Yes, sir. Also, on this period, at this particular time, this is a time where you begin to renew your covenant. Yes, God. covenant renewing. That's right. This is a time where you begin to renew your covenant. I, if I was before everybody, I would say for you to declare this season, I renew my covenants with God. Are you hearing me? Somebody? This season, yes. I renew my covenant with the Lord. Go ahead and type that. Now, 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 how do we have a covenant with Him? Through the death of Jesus Christ. We have a covenant through the shedding of the blood. We have a covenant and the covenants become activated because of the shed blood of yes. Jesus Christ. If we don't have no blood, their, the covenants will never be activated. So we don't have no access or no tie, no oath to the Abrahamic covenant. Are you hearing me? We don't have nothing to it. If we don't go back to God in prayer and appropriate the blood of Jesus in this time, which now give us legal rights, not only to the Abrahamic covenant, but also to the Mosaic covenant, also to the uh, the covenant of Noah, also to the covenant that he, was, he instituted with Jacob and things of that nature. We are not walking in what God says for us to walk in because we have not not learned the pattern of how to tap into and to pull out in prayer what his word has declared over our life. So in order for us to get what God has, we need to put him back in remembrance of his covenant. So this season, in this particular watch, you learn, amen, hallelujah, to reestablish the covenant. What is this? Through Jesus Christ. In this watch, we can ask God to manifest the blessings of his covenant in our life. Every covenant that the Lord gives, there is a contingency plan. He said, if you do this, I will bless you. But if you don't do this, then this will not happen to you. But if you are living according to the word of the Lord, amen, he is tied and legally bound to give you what his covenant that he wrote that he spoke over you with blessing. I will bless you. Are you hearing me? Yes, Lord, I'm hearing you. Hallelujah to God. So we got to put God back in mind of his covenant. Renew yes. With him. 
renew it with him i'm going to stop here should i stop here should i continue let me know pray the word of the lord no you you can continue because some of the prior points we want to give um in this hour as as a man of god declare it's your period of covenant renew it with god it is also the time for the nature of the lamb of god it's a yes. time for the preservation of the fruits you, of your you life going in, Rev, go you. ahead and talk to me about the preservation of the fruits of our life. One thing I want people to also understand in this particular watch we're dealing with, we're talking about the 6 to 9 p.m. watch. It is the time to pray and silence all voices, which yeah. means every curse must be yes. silent Broken. in this particular time. Yes. Yes. Break every curse, dismantle it, every evil altar, dismantle at this time, every word curse that have been spoken over your life. I told them last week that people speak word curse in a form of a joke and say, I'm yes. just joking. No, no, no. Identify a curse and break that curse. So this is a time also uh, where the enemies of your life, you have to break the curse of your enemies, curses in your family, curses in your church, curses in your city, curses in your neighborhood, curses in your nation. This is the time where not we only, are breaking. Yes. Go ahead, Pastor. Not only is this a time that we interrupt or break the curse, but this is also the time where we release judgment yes on the wicked and decree into the new day god's blessing upon our home upon our life upon our church upon everything that we hold now we believe that it's only the wicked alone can release judgment against us but we have the authority to, to release, release judgment upon every wicked diabolical spirit i remember yes, sure. thank you holy ghost for this i remember my auntie her name is linda rayner linda rayner she 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 told me a, a a a thing that the lord taught her and i was telling her some things that was spoken over my life at a period and she says nephew you know i went through something like that and this is what the Lord told me in prayer. He said, Don, when you come out of prayer, you must begin to declare crap failure to every negative utterance that was spoken over your life because the words that were spoken, amen, they can become plantations in your life, Ooh. evil plantations. Ooh. So in order for you, hallelujah, to interrupt the cycle and any words that were spoken, you begin to declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree crap failure. I decree yes. that the roots be dried up. My hallelujah God. to God. I see decree will, that see any words grow. that were spoken over my life from the age of six, even at the age of 30 i declare crop failure even yes it's hovering over my spirit over my head i declare crop failure why am i doing this and the, she said this the lord says because life and death is in the power of your tongue so the enemy has set up for your demise he has orchestrated things from your birth but mm -hmm. when you enter into this watch you are able to release the judgment of God against the adversary and put God back in remembrance of the covenant that he has instituted concerning your life not only this but this particular time also it is the foundation of the night and the beginning of the watches of the night this is where you begin to lay the foundation and you know that when 12 o'clock comes, when 12 midnight comes around, you are fully armed because you're not going to operate in your emotion. You're not going to yes. allow your mind, amen, to be cumbered because at this time you have already established the precedent and say in this hour, God rules God reigns. Yeah. I am not coming here by myself, but that I am encompassed about by the angels of the Lord. Not only am I compassed not about by the angels it. of the Lord, but the witnesses of heaven is also with me. So when we are praying, we are not praying by ourselves, but there is a 
host that is unseen that is assisting us from the realms of the heavens to the realms of the earth that's why I said it last week we don't pray from the ground the ground up but we pray from the heavens down and when we pray from the heavens down we are appropriating our power our authority according to what God has given unto us Prayer, hallelujah, is not no little pian pian business. Are you hearing me? Yes, Why come on now. Atomic bomb in it the is. camp of the enemy. When you pray, my granny always used to say this that even when the weakest saints pray, Satan trembles. trembles. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Yes. So when you begin to pray according to the word of the Lord, hell got to back up and I'm going to pull back in. Th this, is, this is only the first watch and we're going to leave you with some scriptures that we talk about divine blessing. We go from Psalms 119, 148, Genesis 1, 5, um, Gen Genesis 8 and 13. We talk also about the time for nature, renewing the Lamb of God, Revelation chapter number 5. We just want to give you some scriptures so that you don't think we're just talking because it's good but exactly that which the lord have spoken in scriptures the man of god said when you pray you pray the word of god you can't pray outside of the realm and the will of god and the word of god exactly what god said that's what it is i want you to understand something very clear we gotta move because it's a lot of them i'm not even sure if we're gonna cover it we gotta move to the next one but i want to leave this with you in the first watch watch what happened in saint matthew 16 16 to 19 when we talk about this watch it also encompassed that the thing that you must possess is within the gates. You must understand that with this watch, the first watch of the night, you got to possess the gates. You cannot get a city. You cannot take a nation. You cannot take anything until you first bind the God. strong man. Now, I want you to understand that everywhere there is a gate. There is a gate in your job. There is a gate where you live. Everywhere there is a four-way, there is a gate. And you possess it. And that is why every church, your, your intercession, where your church is, you have got to possess. There's a gate there that you have to possess that gate that you possess everything within it. That is why you have your churches in some location and you're wondering why the church is not being filled, why people are not coming. Because the gates of hell has blocked the entrance. Uh -huh. right. You're hearing me tonight. The, uh, today, it has blocked the entrance to your church. It has blocked the entrance to your home. You're wondering why prosperity even coming. What's going on? On because there's a gate that block watch this the bible said we must then possess the gate and one of the keys we must possess in order to possess the gate is the key to the knowledge of time we must understand the key to the knowledge of time yeah and our day has a gate your week has a gate your day has a gate and that is why when you wake up in the morning you've got to declare you got to decree what your day is going to be you got to take I possession know. of the gates of your day the gates of your week no is what the bible said it didn't say the gate of hell shall not the gates with an s everything yes, has a gate and if you possess the gates you possess everything that is within the gates hear me now and so then here it is that the bible says we uh, must possess these uh, gates because whoever possesses the gates possesses and control everything the very first watch is the beginning of a new day so here it is you must declare as the man of god mentioned and decree what Whatever it is that you need, that you believe, that you want to possess, it must come out of your mouth. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Um, the man of God mentioned something and it br bring me back to remembrance. We got to move to the next prayer watches. Many years ago while I was in Jamaica, I realized that every time by the month of April, I lose my job. Every time I, I can plan it, I can put it down. April coming around, the company is going to close. They're going to lay me off. Something's going to happen, but I'm losing my job. My aunt is online to, to, um, this morning, Mahalia. And I said to her, I said, aunt, I noticed that every time come April, I lose my job. And, and, and this is my, my very young Christianhood. And she said to me, but if you realize then that every time at upset time you lose your job, it's a curse that you need to pray against it. And that thing has never left my mind over about 19 years ago. And let me tell you, 
I bind that spirit. I bind that curse that happened in the month of April that caused me to lose my job. And can I tell you, I have never lost a job in the last 19 years when I recognized that I was operating under a curse that will cause that every year come around, I am without. That this curse should attack my finances. My that this curse should control my life. Listen, you have got to get up out of your place that you are. Recognize some things that are happening in your family. Recognize the trajectory the, that is happening in a generation. Every time at this particular age, somebody die from this particular illness. It's a curse. And you've got to scatter that evil altar. I've got to go. I've got to move on. Um, you, I, I, we got to run. I want to say something because when you begin to speak about the gates, I heard this. The, the person that holds the gate holds your access. Ooh. So if you have a gate, you Katama. have access. Because if you're standing outside of the gate, we're still in the watch. So yes. the, 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 the mm. Shanda Baha'i. The 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. is a gate. Mm -hmm. So the person that controls this gate now even at this particular time the, the 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 study also said this is a time of healing so if you desire to be healed from an incurable disease not saying that god can't do it at any time mm -hmm. this particular time is yes. where you begin to put it before god and said god i hold the gate of healing and i open it and i oh, access shy. it now i step through the gate into my divine healing unto god so whoever hold the gate hold your access now if the kingdom of heaven holds the gate Ooh. then therefore we have access to everything that God has declared to us. Now, if the kingdom of hell is blocking you and they hold the gate, guess what? You're not going to prosper. And even concerning the cycle, the Lord said this, Kenyatta, there's some cycles that are going on in your life. And, and in order for it to be broken, you must build an altar. When you build an altar, you interrupt the cycles. And that's exactly what you did by opening your mouth and declaring what the word of the Lord is. You build an altar. So this altar now overrides what the enemy has already orchestrated to be your demise from the womb even though we are baptized in the name of the lord jesus christ we are filled with the holy ghost there are things that was already set in place amen to keep us back. So now we got to rise up as gatekeepers as the access granters amen of our bloodline and declare according to the word of the lord this is what his word says i have i've reflected on my life i've seen how persons have dropped i've seen how people get to high school but they can't get no phd i've seen how they go to the embassy can't get no visa now god opened the door that you are the only one that got it hallelujah so you reflect on everything you no longer pray from your emotion you bring everything into recollection and you say, God, this is what is going on. But your word says, wherever the soul of my feet trod, it shall be mine. Your word says, whatever I ask in your name, that it shall be released. This is what your word says. Your word said that by your stripes, I am healed. What am I doing? I'm taking hold back of the gates that God has given me authority. Yes. Amen. Control. Yes. Amen. I know we got to move. So I'm going to Full possession. Go forward. Full Amen. possession. Go Thank you. Thank you so much. I know we're coming. Let me just drop a yes. little in the bucket here. Yes. Remember the Bible says that um, we must pray always. Always. Not when you feel good. Not when you're going through some issues. Not when you're going through some circumstances. But you must pray always. And I want to let you know that you your, your, your prayer, there's other persons are depending on Ooh. your prayer. My God, your prayer can un 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 uh, unlock some things and some people out of where they are held, and because you did not pray, they you remember Peter was in prison and the church prayed because they they they, they killed um James the brother of John. They came back, they saw it look good and they saw it fit, and they came for Peter 
put him into prison to kill him the next day. But the prior, the prior reach heaven, the prior release angels, mm-hmm. the prior um, allow angels to come, the prior went into the jail cell, the prior use, the prior um, um, turned into a key. My God Almighty, to open up Peter's destiny, his life. To, to release him out of prison. From the prison. Yes. I need you to know this morning that other persons, and you have some generational curse that is over your family, that you're wondering, you know, it's not only you alone need to break out of this box, but you have some persons in your family line that need to break out of your box. Remember, you can't walk away from, him, from your family. You have yes. your DNA in your blood. So you need to understand that you still have to pray. If you have nothing else to pray about, pray for your family. Intercede on behalf of your family. Knowing that the enemy is out there, he wants to destroy, and you have the power. The Bible says, when you pray, not if you pray, when you pray, pray. by God Almighty. Amen. Begin to pray. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, when the weakest of seen saints Get on their knees to pray, the devil tremble. And you may say to yourself, well, I'm not a prayer warrior. Um, I can't pray long or I can't. Listen to me. You can pray, stay on your knee, pray, groan, sing, do whatever you need to do. But in that time, in that in 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 in, in that season that you, you choose for prayer, all you need to do is to grab a desire to pray. Your desire. And you get down into prayer and start to seek the face of God and says, God, I I, I really don't have words to express. And that's why the Bible said now that you, it, it's done with groaning. Mm-hmm. You don't have words, but you have some a groan. That's right. Almighty, and you're saying, oh, God, you're, you're thinking because it's with the mind you serve God. That's and right. It's with the mind you're serving God. In the mind, you know exactly what you want to say to God. And you're saying it and you're uttering it out. And you're groaning it out, and God is releasing what He's releasing for you in your life. Amen. Thank you so much for that, Pastor. We're coming up on a break. Uh, thank you so much. We are talking about the early night watch or the first watch of the night. So all we're talking about here, we haven't moved yet, is from 6 until 9 p.m. That's the first watch that we're talking about. We're going to take a quick break right here in HEG Radio, the Ironman Empowerment Podcast. We will come back with you. And of course, we'll move on to the second watch of the night. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> All in one dollar store. All in one. Get your groceries, over the counter drugs, home decor, bathroom, laundry, and kitchen accessories, comforters, blankets, beauty, stationery, events, and birthday supplies, children toys, kids' clothes, sneakers, sandals, hats, track suits, winter spring jackets, and so much more. Visit them today. 8904 Street, 118 Avenue, Edmonton, Alberta. Open every day. Call 587 977 2343 email waka1041 at gmail.com all in one dollar store top african fashion the one-stop shop for all your african needs for men women and children top Top african African fashion fashion. we sell anchor and lace fabrics wigs jewelry african traditional beads matching shoes and bags for ladies we also carry shoes for men and kids belts and so much more top Top african African fashion fashion. for all season occasion and celebration church wedding and graduation top Top african African fashion fashion. open every day visit us today at 9338 118 avenue edmonton or call 780-22 Four seven three three nine. Top African African fashion. Saffron Caribbean Delight, your one-stop Caribbean cuisine restaurant with their tasty oxtail, curry chicken, jerk chicken, and stew beef. Not to mention their weekend specials, fried fish and soup. Come out and get a taste of the Caribbean located at 8155-112 Avenue or call to order at 780-474-9005. Opening hours from Tuesdays to Thursday from 1 to 7 p.m. and Friday and Saturday 1 to 8 p.m. Saffron Caribbean Delight. It's not about the quantity, but the quality. 
Thank you so much for staying with us on the Ironman Empowerment Podcast. We are talking about the prior watches. Uh, of course, joining us is Pastor Kenyatta McLeish out of uh, Pofita Church. That's this prior faith international uh, tabernacle apostolic or temple apostolic in Florida. We are talking about the first watch of the night and we're about to move. We are on to the second watch of the night. The second watch of the night and this one is known from 9 p.m. until midnight. The late night watch or the second watch of the night. Now, this is a time uh, to hollow and exalt the name of the Lord, a time for prayer, for ministries, a time when we pray over our churches, our congregation, our ministry, a time for divine favor, a time uh, that we are praying for divine protection, divine provision. I'll allow the man of God to jump in and then we'll come on in and leave you with some scriptures. Man of God, talk to us. The second watch of the night, nine until 12, tell me the potency. Tell me what is happening at this time of the watch. Pastor Kenyatta. <laughs> this week is me and the ball. Praise Jesus. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this particular watch, this particular watch, the second watch. Um, now, I'm hearing in my spirit, you cannot be a watcher and be weak. Mm. Sorry. You cannot be a watcher and be, and be easily distracted. Mm. Now, this particular watch, intercessors, those that pray, intercessors are able to impact That's the right. spiritual realm before the enemy gets ready to rave havoc, yeah, um, to release havoc upon the land. In, intercessors, the interrupters in the kingdom intercessors are interrupters so mm -hmm. we get up and we interrupt the plans yes. of the enemy yeah so this is where psalms 119 come in play mm -hmm. and verse 62 that says at midnight i will arise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgment this is the place where we enforce the judgment of God, enforce it before we release it. Here we enforce Force. it against yes. the kingdom of darkness. Yeah, you may know the law, but only when you enforce the law, My the God. law will take authority or come in place. Mm -hmm. So there is a law, there is a law that governs us in the spirit realm. So we understand that the enemy, he comes as a thief. He comes as a robber. Now, according to Leviticus, Leviticus says that when we, if somebody comes and they steal from you, they rob from you, right? And you catch them. They have your goods. You catch them. They says, according to scriptures, that you bind them and they must repay you seven times more than what they took from you. Amen. Mm. So this is the place in prior where the intercessors get up. Uh. You know that the enemy is getting ready to move. You catch the enemy. And whatever the enemy was getting ready to release against your family, he now got to release blessings. You think that God won't cause the enemy to bless you? If yes. the enemy was getting ready to pronounce judgment against you, a Balaam and Balak experience. Have to release a blessing against you. Are yes. you hearing somebody? Yes. They have to open the door for you. They got to give you access. We are not able to walk in full authority because we are weak in prayer. We rather to sleep than to pray. We Ooh. rather to watch than to pray. Jesus Christ said this to his disciples. Listen, man, I am here. I'm getting ready to leave out of here. All I ask you to do is watch with me for a few hours until I You're pray. Sleeping. I got to get my spirit right. I got to get myself together because of the responsibility that was placed upon me as man to redeem you who don't even have the gall hallelujah to stay for a few minutes to pray with me so this is the place where you arrest the the tormentor where you arrest the adversary before they begin to move amen hallelujah to rave havoc to rave havoc upon your life it was at the midnight hour 
that God, amen, according to scripture, struck down the firstborn of the Egyptian. So if the enemy is saying, I'm coming after your bloodline, this is where you tell the enemy, uh uh, can't work. I, you come after my children, I am coming after everything in your lineage. And this is how I begin to pray against the enemy. If you touch, or even if you think about hey. that mm -hmm. belongs to me, I dry up your bloodline, I command your bosom, your breasts to dry up from milk. You, your children shall have no suck. I command your womb to wither in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your hands to wither. I command your tongue to be cleaved to the roof of your mouth. You want to come against me? Then this is what you're going to have to suffer because I will not hallelujah tolerate, sit back and stand and allow you, amen, to rave havoc against my bloodline. But before you throw the blow, Oh, come on somebody we take the fight to the enemy we know the enemy is coming against us we're not going to wait for the enemy to throw the first blow we are going to do so in this watch we yes how uh -huh. who we are and yes we clear unto the enemy we overpower you you don't run us we run you in the name of the lord jesus christ are you hearing me yes come on come you. on so come on we release the judgment of god and we declare that whoever the enemy has held captive we demand we don't ask yes. him we demand that he release them so anybody that is under the bashunda Leban Saya, that is under the Bahusha, under the sound of my voice, that the enemy has held you captive. You can only go so oh. far. Amen. Five oh. years. Oh. Hallelujah. You're able to acquire. Then after five years, you can prosper. We yes. decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ yes. of Nazareth that everything that the enemy has held captive concerning you for your promotion, for your progress, for your healing, we decree and declare that it be released now in Jesus' yes. every document. Somebody had a type release in the chat. Release, type release. Impregnated. Release. We that your house. We declare yes. that your status in whatever foreign country you are in. Release. Release now. Come on, somebody had a type release. Be held captive by the voice of the activity of the enemy. The Bible said, wherever the sole of your feet trod, it is yours. And because your foot is in a foreign land, you have legal rights to occupy there according to the law of the spirit. yes so for the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof yes, it's my father's place i have a divine inheritance i belong there i have divine rights to anywhere my foot touch because the yes. entire earth belonged to him and i'm a son i'm not a bastard i'm not an afterthought of god i was in the mind of god before the very foundation of the world he knew i was going to be in america he knew i was going to be in canada he he knew that you needed legal documents to operate it according to the law of that land. But you have to walk in that divine, that divine, that divine inheritance, that divine, that divine providence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Man of God, this is some deep stuff. I, we we got to come back for this. This is a time to receive your provision, your supply, your strength in the name, your ability, your freedom from all limitations. Somebody say, I'm taking off the limitation. This I'm is a time from 9 to 12 where you are releasing, you are removing every limitation that has been placed on your life you are releasing it now in that time in this watch in this watch this is also the time for plundering your oppressors as the man of god said those that oppress you those that have your hold and hostage your things that are held hostage it's the time to tread upon the head of the serpent this is the time that you tread upon every demonic assignment and command every assassin that is walking around your property every assassin that is seeking after your life after your family after your divine possession command every assassin to lose their assignment command every assassin to go blind in the name of jesus and that they be returned and we not just going to send them back. We're beheading them. So they're not coming back again. But we are beheading.
every assignment, every demon in the name of Jesus Christ. We got to understand that we, we, we have power, but we are doing this sort of thing. This is a time where spiritual warfare is getting ready to happen. We are moving over into the midnight until the three watch. Warfare is going to happen. It's not the time where you said, Lord, if it's your will, just let your will be done. Lord, you know, you see the enemy. No, it is the time to be radical in prayer. It is the time to declare what should happen according to the word of God and it must be manifested. Can I tell you that this is also the time for favor from man, a time for respect from man, uh, that you're praying for divine favor because I want you to understand that there are heavenly favor but there are also favor from man that yes. you ask God, Lord, let favor be granted. You're going to that airport, you ain't got it, but you said, Lord, grant me favor. I know I'm overweight, but God Almighty, I need favor. Can I talk to somebody? Yes. Walk into the job and he said, God, grant me favor in here i know i'm not qualified but i need favor we there is favor also from man this is a time when you pray for that man of god go go ahead go ahead go ahead man of god i'll leave it here and you chime in before i run off to the next one we got about a few more minutes i want to touch the midnight watch listen listen this is so important and i gotta come back to this because sometimes the enemy fights our favor he fights our favor. Um, and in this particular watch, this is where you begin to declare the Psalms, the Psalms that declare, let God arise mm -hmm. and his enemies. And let his enemies be scattered. So now you begin to pray, God scatter our enemies. Mm -hmm. Scatter them by lightning and thunder. Let them run from us several ways in the name of Jesus Christ. This is also the time where we begin to declare and enforce the deliverance, amen, of our family. We begin to enforce and pray for our economical status to shift to change, amen, hallelujah to God. It is important that not only that we decree and we declare, but also that we establish praise and we establish worship, yes. exalting God in this time. Why? Because you're getting ready to cross over into another hour, which is even more fierce than this one. But because you have applied the first watch of the night and you have now culminated with the second watch guess what you have become even more ah uh, glory to god dangerous to the to the camp of the enemy you have the authority to change the trajectory of your life when we apply force and pressure in prayer you have the authority amen to establish the favor of god upon your life amen places that you're not qualified for you begin to walk in there and favor just hits you amen people will begin to pay for things for you what because you have established it in the night you have established it in the night. We can't get up in the morning and expect that our day will run smooth. No, baby. The witches is already work. But when you get up and you establish it in the night, hallelujah to God, what the enemy has meant for evil because yes. you established the province of God in the night, it will work for your good. And what you have been waiting on will be waiting on you when you get up. Out of the yes, world. powerful. I want to leave some scripture with you as we switch. Revelation 9 and 16, Acts 23 and 23, Exodus 3 and 21, Psalms 119, uh, verse 148, Exodus 3, 21, 22. I want to leave some scripture. I pray for the outpouring of the spirit upon you, upon, upon your church. Um, Zechariah 9, verse 12. Pray for divine protection. Psalms 3, 1 to 7, Psalm 17. 8 to 14, Acts 23, 23, Zechariah 1 and 10. Pray for provision to, to pray for provision to do God work according to Exodus 11, verse 3 and 4. So I want to release some scripture to you so you understand that what we are talking about, we are bringing this to you from biblical practice here on the Handman Empowerment Podcast. We want to shift gear. We only have a few more minutes, but I dare not um, close and not give you the opportunity 
operation that happened when the clock strike 12. Man of God, let us move over at midnight. This is called the third watch of the night. This is the activity that happened from 12 on till midnight. The midnight watch. The midnight watch. Powerful watch. Now, if you are, if you can't handle spiritual warfare, this watch is not for you. But this please. is a warfare watch. I'll yeah. tell you off the top. This is a warfare watch. This is a special time for divine government overruling human decrees. This is Hayaba. This is a time when there are evil decrees that have been declared word curses from the mouth of humans. This is where it happened and take a charge because when it released from here, it now uh take authority in the realm of the spirit now this is where you break that you destroy it. a special time for decree government overruling government overruling human decree it's a time for spiritual warfare this is when deep sleep fall upon man according to acts 20 verse 7 to 12 Remember in Matthew 13 and 25, man of God, while men slept, the enemy went in and so tears among them. This is therefore a period of heightened satanic activity. I want you to hear me. This is a period of heightened. It reached the highest satanic activity is happening from 12 until 3. The devil operate at this time because this is the time that men are in the deepest of sleep and there are not many people. People who are praying to oppose him at this time at midnight most people are already sleeping so this is when the enemies start to operate see it in matthew 13 and 24 we also see it in first kings 3 and 20 this watch is the weak link for christians can i say it again this watch is the weak link for christians this watch the weak link only a few saints are praying at this time. This is also the time for slain. I want you to hear me. This is a time when you slay every devil. It's a time now when for slaying. This is when the destroying of angels, the destroying angels go out at this time. From 9 until 12, they gather their assignment from the enemy. And by 12 to 3 is when they are carrying out their assignment. Now, this is when you need to get up and be praying. And you are dismantling the assignment of hell. You have to oppose that which is happening at Kata. this particular time. My God from Zion. This is the first Man, time our podcast oh. turned into this. My God. But hear me. It's a time for slaying. When, they, when, when angels now go out. This is when they destroy angels. Go through the camp. Through the neighborhood. Through your community. Through the city. This is when it's happening through the nation. This is when most murder take place. Because this is when that evil spirit rise up now. And it's desire cold. blood. This is when it's seeking after blood. See it in Exodus 12 and verse 29. We see it in 2 Kings 19 and 35. What are we praying about at this particular time? We are praying. It's a time of release from every prison. We talk about it at the top of the show. This is the time when jailbreak happened. And there are people who are not in a physical prison, but you have been held in a state of imprisonment by some things that have held you captive. Your past, some curse, some evil declaration, and you are in prison. This is the time to break out at this particular time. This is the time for the freedom of his bride, the bride, which is the church. Yeah, the best time to make your case in prayer is this particular time. See it in Mark 13 and 35, Luke 11, verse 5 and to 13 and Acts 16. This is the time. What is this hour? This hour is when we wage rage spiritual warfare against the plan of the enemy prophet come on in it is uh, this is not a season in this time that you become afraid mm -hmm. you can't be afraid and this is for as as, as dr brian says for seasoned intercessors seasoned intercessors because when you enter here, we got to remember that at this particular time, even though we, the saints, are praying that the witches has already moved forward and they're doing their due. Amen. In this particular time also is where, as he said, we strengthen ourselves in the spirit. 
Because for you to contend against the forces of darkness, you have to be strengthened. You have to know in your spirit what you're contending against. There's a lot of things. And, and I got to say this. I, about a year ago, I went to my headquarters church. Two years ago. a year About a year ago, I went there and the Lord told me to stay at the church. Do not leave the night. I flew up on, on Friday night. I got there. The Lord said, make sure you get there before the hours of 12. Get there before 12 o'clock so you can get in and shut in the church. And I stayed in the church. And I tell you no lie. I was up praying. At about 3 o'clock in the morning, I drifted off to sleep. And I felt a presence walk in. I was kneeling at the altar, laying at the altar. And I felt a presence walk in. And I heard footsteps and I heard the Holy Ghost says get up and pray and what I saw was unbelievable to my eyes because the enemy literally came to the place of prayer where I was to intimidate me and to, to bring fear upon me that I would not pray, that I would want to run out of the church. And I hear the Holy Ghost says, don't you move. Mm. You have the authority to contend against this spirit that have come. And I'm telling you, brother, what I saw would let anybody run out of their skin. Because if you think that you're entering into the house of God, and that the enemy is not there already waiting on you you're making a sad mistake in this particular hour this 3 a.m to the 6 a.m watch this this or midnight this, this, midnight this to midnight three midnight watch rather yes midnight watch to 3 a.m you are not settled and grounded in god when this demonic spirit begins to to project themselves into your arena, you will lose your mind. You have to gird yourself up and mm. spiritual warfare. We're not talking about you speaking in tongues and you you're slapping oil all over the place. You got to use the word of, of God. God. Yes, and you use you sometimes at this particular time, sleep will want to come and take over you. You got to get up off your knees and begin to walk. Last mm. week, we talked about the different postures. Amen. Get up and walk. March in place. Use your hands as weapon to dismantle in the atmosphere. Teach my hands out the wall. Come on. Mm -hmm. has, has released to bind you. Because if our hands are bound, we're mm -hmm. unable to hold what God has released for us. Amen. Yes. So your hands, thank you for the scripture, has now become an instrument of war against the enemy. So this is a time, amen, where we don't stop praying. Pray. We And we make our case to God. So now, thank you for reminding me about this. We are legislators. Mm -hmm. We are legislators. Kingdom legislators we are ambassadors so we and there is a term in the legal lobbyists thank you holy ghost mm -hmm. we are lobbyists in the spirit you take the case and you present it before the throne of mm -hmm. god anybody have any hard hard case mm. that you are dealing with mm. this Get is your time intercessor yes and this is the time that you make your case before God. Now, when you become this individual, you take up the burden, the problem. You sit it in between. You now become the buffer. In this realm, you become the buffer. So you, you are grabbing a hold of the answer with one hand. And you're holding the problem with the other hand. So in order for this to become resolved, you got to take it out of the realm of the carnal and put it in the realm of the spirit. Grab a hold of the answer that is in the heavens, pull it out of the heavens and bring it to where you are and deliver it back to the individual. You're not bringing the problem, you're bringing the solution. So yes. we become the solution giver.
Lord, help me. Oh, in, this Lord. Season, in this hour, not Ooh. only in this, you also, your dreams become hyphen in this hour. Are you hearing me? Yes, God, I'm hearing you. In this time, your dreams become hyphen. This is where you become, begin to dream prophetically. Mm -hmm. And God begin to reveal unto us what is to come. He begin to reveal it to us. What is your next move? The Bible said before the Lord does anything in the earth, amen, he reveal it first to his prophets. So a prophetic grace is released upon those that pray at this particular time. time. Man of God. This is Deeps of Pastor Clive. I'll bring you in. Our time is winding down, but I'm so, so glad that my brother is joining me next week for, for, for the next three. Um, watch it. We got to do, you can't leave what we started. We can't leave the people. Y'all, you got, you have to type in the chat. A, a prophet, join us next week. You cannot leave that which you started. We got to finish this. You, you know better. Uh, we got to finish this. Pastor Clive, I'll let you chime in, sir. Uh, I know we're coming down our time. I mean, just when it starts to, to really get good, then uh, we got to go. Pastor Clive, come on in, sir. Let me hear you. I, I just want to say, as the prophet is saying, um, we got to get, we got to call these spirits, identify the spirits, call them by their name because you have a spirit of laziness. Mm. Mm. And when that spirit of laziness would come up on the believer, you can't find the words to pray. You fall asleep and you're wondering, why am I in at this time? Why? So identify the spirits that is attacking you and deal with it and call it by its name so you can defeat what you're passing through. If you don't identify what you, what the spirit's name, what, what you're passing through, what is happening and calling by their name, you'll be just praying and praying amiss. And all yes. you're doing is just repeating yourself. So when you identify the spirit, you call it by its name and you say, listen to me, spirit of adultery, spirit of fornication, spirit of laziness, spirit of whatever it is. You call it by name, you identify the spirit and you go in from the root and says, mm -hmm. you will not have the victory in the name of Jesus. Powerful, powerful. There are two um, questions that I want to address. Someone was asking, uh, do I have to pray exactly 12 or between these watches? We wanted to know these are between these watches. The activity happened from 12 to 3. So anytime between these watches, um, you can pray uh, between those watches. I believe there was a question that came to the top that I that I really want to address. Didn't want to leave it. Hope I can find it. Amen. Amen. A God that sent us a, a, a question in. Um, but so sorry. You know, sometimes the conversation... We, we, we kick it, we kick started and it just keep, you know, uh, building from there. But again, we want to say the watches happen between those particular time that we've given. And so you can pray between those watches and the Lord um, will. Jerry would ask, for those who are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost, should that individual partake in the watches or just seek God? No, these individuals can still pray between these watches because you are praying the word of God. However, as I've mentioned with the warfare watch, warfare watch intensified. And so this watch is, is for more for seasoned believer who understand what warfare prior is. Yeah, you can't go into warfare prior lighted. You can't go into warfare prior not living right and say you're going to slew devils. No, devils know who you are. And so you can pray, but certain watch of the night, I'm telling you, it's kind of tough, but you can still pray during those times because you have, you have a mouth and life and death is in the power of your tongue. So you can still declare, you can still believe God for what it is that you're believing him for, even though you don't have the Holy Ghost at a certain time. And I want to be, I want to tread it lightly, but I'm saying warfare prior. If you're praying warfare, warfare, you need power for warfare. You can't go into warfare without power. You yeah. Need so you need the Holy Ghost for, to, for, for, to go in war. You can't go in war and don't have shield and don't have yeah. nothing to fight with. And you're going in war, you will die. All right. So there you have it. Uh, we, as Lady Glenda said, we must we have authority 
uh, to contend with the wicked one. We want to thank you all um, who have been joining. And I'm telling you, this is good information. Please don't keep this to yourselves. Next week, we do continue. And I'm asking you to share. Please go like, share, subscribe. I'm coming, man of God. Please, please, please. So that the most people, the more people that get this information, we are about empowering a next generation. And we are men just talking as men that we can help everybody on that join on a Saturday morning. Uh, please, I'm asking you. Don't keep this to yourself. This is good information. Let everybody hear. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Share it with your church. Thank you to all of those who are joining us. I know New York City is on. The UK is on. I see my niece from the UK is on. Those from Atlanta, Antigua, St. Martin, Grand Cayman, Florida. Uh, so much. I'm seeing New Jersey. I see you in the house. Jamaica, I know you're on very strong. Those here in Canada, my cousin over there in Florida. Good morning to you, my darling cousin, Opal. Uh, those who are joining from near and far, Marsha Ben. Those from just from everywhere. Thank you for joining. And I'm saying, share with your friend in another state. Share with your friend in another country, in another city. All right? And so we ask everyone, everyone that joined. So, Marsha yeah. Benson, please invite eight more for their new beginnings next week. And so that is the challenge. Everybody that is on the line, I'm challenging you. Invite eight person next week for their new beginning. That's powerful. So everybody on the line, I'm asking you, invite eight people. Send a link to at least eight. Yeah, eight people. Uh, Pastor Kenyatta, I'll come to you, sir, with the last word, and then we'll look to uh, to, to wrap up. Um, Next week, I have to work. Sir, we're going to pray. We're going to pray and we're going to believe the Lord that pastor will be able to make it on next week. Let's see what the Lord will have to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another thought-provoking episode here on the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. Remember, we give you great information. And again, I ask that you continue to share this link with everybody that you know, all your friends, all your families, near and far. Please, please do share it. And again, we want to thank you for joining us for the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. On behalf of the entire production crew, we invite you to join us next week for another thought-provoking discussion where we continue with the prior watches. Of course, you can't afford to miss next week. Hopefully, we can wrap it up until next week. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for listening. Remember, here on the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast, we are not just talk. We are informative. Thank you to my very, very um, good friend, uh, Pastor Prophet Kenyatta McLeish, for joining us. Thank you so much, sir, for lending us with your time and gracing us with your presence. Thank you for uh, to my co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson. God bless you, sir. You are a tremendous blessing to the body of Christ. We thank you for creating this medium that we are able to come on here, near and far. Man of God, I'm so glad when God gave you this vision to start this radio station. I'm sure you never even think you'll be reaching so much people 136 countries throughout the world are listening to us on this morning and people from near and far who are joining us and they are tremendously tremendously blessed by that which we have to say sir again i thank you for yielding to the call of god thank you so much until next time we love you for listening it's the iron man empowerment podcast where we not just talk but we're informative god bless you take care now Join us for the Iron Man Empowerment Podcast, where we discuss matters close to the heart. This and every Saturday at 8 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. I am your host, Dr. Lincoln Bryan, alongside your co-host, Pastor Clive Atkinson, Bishop Hopeton Morris, and Elder Edmund Muir. The Iron Man Empowerment Podcast. We're not just off, we're informative. Calling all believers. Are you continuing steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine? Join us right here on HGG Radio, Mondays to Fridays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. EST for a new and exciting Bible discussion program, The Apostles' Doctrine. Come and hear the word being rightly divided by dynamic preachers and teachers. It's The Apostles' Doctrine, hosted by Minister Tyrone Reed, weekdays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST. Come for the fellowship. Stay for cerebral conversation. 
conversations on all things scriptural. A revolution is coming to the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Get ready for the pulsating, electrifying, inspiring, and motivating two hours of music, word, health, and wealth. Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Right here on HGG Radio, join me, your host, Rashane Douglas, the Christ in me, the hope of glory. That's the new time for the Hope of Glory Morning Show, Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Right here on HGG Radio. Visit our website, hggradio.ca, or download the HGG Radio mobile app. See you soon. Edmonton, get ready for Come Worship the King on April 6, 2024. Hosted by MR Productions. Come and experience the ultimate night of praise and worship featuring Petra K from Jamaica. Oh, I cross HGG Radio. HGG Radio. Edmonton, get ready for Come Worship the King on April 6, 2024. Hosted by MR Productions. Come and experience the ultimate night of praise and worship featuring Petra K from Jamaica. Oh, I cross over. Michael Reed, Chanel Edwards, Glenn Barnes, and Pastor Alric O'Connor. Special appearances from Chosen Generation. And we are his. MC Crystal Reed at the Citadel International Church, 9253 48th Street, Edmonton. Gates open at 5.30 p.m. Showtime, 6 p.m. Adults pre-sold $35, $40 at the door. Kids, $15 at the door. Get your tickets at eventbrite.ca or call 780-284-3450. That's Come Worship the King at Edmonton. See you there. My soul. HGG Radio. Are you ready to amplify your message and reach hearts with purpose? Introducing HGG Advertising, your partner in spreading the gospel and connecting with the Christian community. Churches, Christian-based businesses, listen up. With HGG Advertising, you can reach your audience through powerful radio campaigns. Engage hearts, inspire minds, and grow your community with HGG Radio, which is already reaching 136 countries worldwide. We specialize in promoting Christian values and helping businesses aligned with faith-based principles. Whether it's a church event or your business rooted in Christian values, HGG Advertising is here for you. Connect with us and let's share your message with purpose. HGG Advertising, spreading the gospel, connecting communities. Email us today at ads at hggradio.ca that's ads at hggradio.ca or call us today at 823-4486 Reaching you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. HGG Radio. Higher ground. Gospel Radio. It's so easy to be distracted. We want to thank you for joining us this morning right here on HGG Radio where we reach you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. We want to thank you one more time. Just join us next week, same time, same place. Together. But remember to invite a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. To work. And of course, we are here 24-7, seven days a week. What? Help share this great gospel. See. Let somebody know that we are here on HEG Radio. You can download Called. the app. Go to the Google um, Play Store, the Apple Play Store, 
and just look for HGG Radiance. This is where I pull things down on Facebook this morning. My God, what a tie we have right here. You deserve on the Iron Man podcast this morning with Dr. Lincoln Bryan. And of course, our guests. My God, they could go on for hours. But we want to bless the Lord for them. God bless you, whatever you're doing. You can stick and stay with us right here on AGG Radio. I'll be here until 10 o'clock. But I will, you have to run over to the app, eh? We'll be playing some music over there. And I'll be pulling things down. You know how and of course, and over to my Auntie Renee with the children. Your problems there, my God. Ooh. 